wonderful freedom fighters and lovers of freedom all over the world. My returning subscribers and those who are watching without subscriptions, you guys are awesome. Those who are watching without subscriptions, can you do us a favor? Smack the red button, click the notification bell so whenever we upload, you'll be able to get notified. On this very video, you are going to see the frustrations and the, the disappointment on sons and fellow judges of Mrs. Audrey on the invasion of his home by the Fulani TTT in uniform. Remember, they don't want to name them. They want to follow due process. But if, when it comes to beer friends and other people, there is nothing like due process. My brothers and sisters, if you are still telling yourself that Nigeria is one, you are deluded more than any other thing. But one thing I know for sure is that it will never be long, then the whole thing will play out and everybody will, it will be done on every one of us. Now the can we shall be free to declare Biafra for you and I is a... We just got information that this place was surrounded by some operatives, some call it joint task force, some say EFCC, some said police, some said army, like whatever name. And then um, I rushed here. Um, what is going on in Nigeria is something that should be a source, that should be a source of concern to everybody. Dr. Peter Odili was governor for eight years. He did well for his people in this country. The Honorable Justice, Mary Peter Odili, has been a justice of the Supreme Court for many years. After going through the Court of Appeal, High Court, and Magistrate Court, she has never involved herself in politics. So why would you want to come and search this house over what? So many insinuations. One, they were dead wrong to have come to this house. The search warrant has no name. That's number one. Number one fundamental flaw. The search warrant has no name on it. The search warrant has number nine, Imo Street, Imo Street, Metama on it. This address is not number nine, Imo Street, Metama. This is number seven, Imo River Street, Metama. So if they were looking for Imo Street, they should look for Imo Street elsewhere. There's another Imo close, Imo, Imo close nearby. There's another Imo close somewhere, I think, in um, in um, Gauki. But this place is Imo River Street, number seven. It's not number nine, Imo Street. So for that reason alone, they missed the point badly. Two theories. If one wants to give them the benefit of the doubt, one can say it was a genuine mistake, which was why they had to quietly, quickly retreat and withdraw. Contrary to the information online. And then the other thing is that Mary Odile's home was invaded. And this is purely because we are in a government that de that is determined to have all the oil producing states as a state that they govern. If not, when the judgment was given, for instance, when the election was held in Bayelsa and it was, uh, INEC said that it was won by APC. I don't remember PDP people uh, holding a protest and burning Bayelsa down. I don't remember 
when the judgment was given against a sitting governor, uh, Governor Mecca Ijoha, when Hope Uzo Dima was declared the winner and by Kudriat Kekere Ekun, who is a Muslim, and she, her home was not invaded when it was the government was taken from PDP and given to APC. She lives in Abuja. Why will Mary P uh, uh, Peter Odili's uh, uh, home be invaded? What type of uh, 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 law allows that to uh, to uh, to happen? Her life is at risk. Her life is is under threat, as far as I am concerned. And so it should concern us in the Niger Delta that this would happen to somebody who is from uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the southeast. She's from Mbaise, she's from Imo State. And she's married to a former governor of River State. And she's a justice of the law, a co of, of, uh, of our judiciary, by right of study. And why would her home be invaded? Because a political party is angry of a judgment that was read by her, that was a unanimous judge uh, judgment of uh, five or so uh, judges. Just the same way, the same judgment, the similar judgment was read by another female justice who is from another part of Nigeria, from another religion. Part of the utterances of Adam Soshomoli, Bayelsa was set on fire for two days running. A, a library that was built privately to enhance uh, the education of Bayelsa people by uh, Steve, uh, Professor Steve Azaiki, who is now in, uh, in the Senate or uh, uh, House of Red, was completely burnt down. Not by strangers, but by a few Bayelsa people who claim to be uh, uh, members of uh, of Adam Soshomole's party, based on the violent utterances that Adam Soshomole released on the day of the judgment. If APC is fond of saying they are fond of saying, if you don't like it, go to court. If they don't like it, they should go to court. If they don't like the judgment, they should go to court. They came to attempt the same thing. Actually, it was only God that saved us in River State. My uh, my own community was, was was literally set on fire. We couldn't even, my people couldn't even vote. I voted here in Potako. My people couldn't even vote at the presidential election. People were killed. Why? Because uh, somebody somewhere sitting in Abuja, somebody who is not even from my community, from River State, he, that doesn't even have a, a, a candidate of his own party, decides that somebody uh, from, from wherever he brings the person must win election in River State and that uh, Akukutoro and Abonima must be seen to be voting for, uh, for, uh, for President uh, Buari. Did, did uh, President Buari come to campaign in Abonima that people are going to vote for him uh, in, uh, in Abonima? So this, this, this is up to us. This is up to us. We have to protect ourselves. It is our right. But what he said, it was what he said that incited incited all that violence in uh, in Bayasa. It was what he said because once he said that thing, it was the red light for uh, for people to know that they can do anything and nothing and nothing will happen because this is uh, this federal might. Federal might is not only when there is election and they bring the military. Federal might is uh, is when. In the, in the seat of power in Abuja where there is federal might a justice, one justice were amongst a, a panel would read a judgment or of unanimous decision and this woman will now be a target this lady doing her job will now be a target and whereas another lady did exactly the same thing about a month ago that removed the sitting governor who was sworn in within hours. Within hours, this man had to leave a government house that he had been sitting in for, for about six or seven months. And you can imagine how, how uncomfortable that would be to move within hours, move out of the place. 
and yet nobody invaded our house. Do they have two heads, these people? Do they have two heads? It, it, it is highly... De I don't even know what the judges and the justices and the lawyers of the Federal uh, Republic or whatever that is from this region. I don't know what they are still doing. The, the, uh, the, uh, the senators and the House of Rep members, I don't know what they are... The, if, if they don't sit, if they refuse to sit as a protest, what will happen? Nothing will happen. They should stop being cowards. They should stop being cowards. They should stop being cowards. Stop being cowards. It is just a spirit. They should, people should rise up and be bold and say what is right and, and stand by what is right for crying out loud to stand by what is right and say what is right. Nobody has two heads. The, all the things happening in Nigeria today, Jonathan did, could never have dared it, even if he had wanted to, which he didn't. He would never, it is even the Niger Delta people that will shout on his head and tell him he cannot do this thing. Thank you, my